Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. 40 years ago, Urban One founder and CEO Ms. Kathy Hughes purchased an AM radio station and pioneered the 24-hour talk from a black perspective format. Her vision has continued to grow and now includes the annual Urban One Honors, which celebrates the contributions of those in entertainment, media, music, and more. Let's take a look. I was sick. I couldn't even hold a pen to write. <laughs> And it was so much to say, give up. But as I stand here with all of you, I thank you, because there's so much talent in this room. The energy, everything about us. I want y'all to know that we are special. Black people, we are special. Understand. Oh, God. Yes, I amazing. was there. I was there. I witnessed it all. I was front and center. I was a part of. Hold on real quick. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. This year's event is paying tribute to the 40-year history of Radio 1 and the men of radio. Please welcome to the show famed radio personality Ryan Camry and new R&B artist Jock Ross. <laughs> Jock, 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 to say it a minute ago because we witnessed a very emotional yes. moment yes, there from Missy Elliott. I was there. I was front and center. I was a part of the show, guys. And as a radio veteran myself for 20 years, I remember when her first record dropped and right. to see mm -hmm. her career just sort of come around and, and the growth, but then this emotional, again, we're talking about vulnerability. We yes. talked about Ayana early, earlier. Ryan, for you as a radio veteran, you yeah. were there as well. What, right. what was that like to witness just it was such like, a special moment? It was like church. Yeah. You know, when you get all of the best and the brightest in one room and all of a sudden you see everybody just giving people their props. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times you'll do an event and you can tell because you've hosted stuff where the crowd is like cold. Oh, man. Mm. And Rashawn, you know, you'll yes. be trying to, and, and I always say, we've said, you know, the, the more cold the room is, the more you're going to cut up. Mm -hmm. And I think in that situation, everybody was just loving everybody else. Mm -hmm. And there were tears when yeah, we looked oh, around the room on, at several moments. This was a yeah. special was show. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it really was. Yeah. Yes, yes. Awesome. awesome. Well, Jack, listen, you opened the award yes, show. Yes. How did that feel? And what did you want? What did you want to say to the to the viewers? Man, to the first, audience? It was just amazing, absolutely, to just be there in a the room with so many phenomenal black people. Yeah. You know, and, and to be there. The message that I wanted to portray is that even as a young black man, that greatness can come across at an early age. So yeah, just being good. in the room with those veterans was just special mm -hmm. to me. Yeah, that's you're right. going to give us a little sample later on, right? Of course, of course. Right. I'm really excited right. about that. That boy can sing. And that boy can sing. He can sing. <laughs> that boy, that boy, that boy got talent right now. <laughs> so um, for a lot of our viewers, many of you know that uh, radio is my foundation. And uh, God used Ryan Cameron to actually usher me in to the radio game. And I'm forever yeah. indebted to him for that. And it's, uh, it's really beautiful to be able to say that on a national platform. So thank you so so much, Ryan, for all that you've done for me. Yeah, I, I bring good. greetings from my mama. Uh -huh. What'd she say? My mama said, she said, Rashawn, she's in a lot of stuff now. <laughs> and I said, yeah, she said, but I mean stuff like, she, she, she be talking. <laughs> I guess she was like seeing you like in cameo. Right, right, she right. was like, she be talking. That's so I funny. Like, I said, yeah, she be talking. Right, about right. <laughs> Of course, you know, we always have to pay homage to the people that have helped us. And mm -hmm. obviously, uh, Ms. Uh, Kathy Hughes has, has helped you yeah. Yeah. so much in your career. Speak to that and what she has meant for your journey. I mean, uh, being in the black people business unapologetically is something that I uh, got into the industry doing. And then I got away from that where it was a total opposite, where if you said something or did something, you end up having to go down the hallway mm -hmm. and have a conversation. And then to go back to that, like in, in, in our studios where you got praise and you got the gospel and you got the, the classic, and, and it's all just us. Mm -hmm. And it's just Miss Hughes as a radio maven. And when she said to me, I can't do it because I, I can't make the trip, only person I want to have do it is you. What could I do? Yeah, that's an honor. Right? Right? And then, and then yeah. when the car showed up, I was like, oh, I ain't got to get this Atlanta <laughs> traffic. <laughs> Right, right. And, and also, the men of Urban One, yeah. uh, the Monarch Magazines, uh, honored you, and she called you a part of her dream mm. team. Oh, wow. What does that feel like? I mean, if you look at that picture, Man. everybody in there pretty much is, is syndicated. Yeah. You know, Russ Parr, 
Willie Moore, uh -huh. Ricky, and, and here I am, you know, the, the local talent, but when, when Hot 97.5 came on air, it was when I came back just in time for the Olympics, so to be even included in that, to Special. me, is a, is, a, is a blessing. Like I said, at, there are things that I can have a, com if you have a, a, a company that is worth so much money, but you can still text the owner, the yeah, founder, and th nobody can do that in corporate America these mm -hmm. days. So if I have an issue and I can text Alfred Liggins and he picks up the phone and calls me, no one can, Ms. Hughes, to be able to do that, it's, it's a blessing mm -hmm. beyond measure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember when I first got started in radio, it was because I heard her speak at a conference where she talked about ownership, mm -hmm. the importance of owning our own, and I just knew I had to work with her. I stalked her after that. <laughs> right, that's good. <laughs> right. Well, at the honors, really quick, well, each of you tell us some of the highlights of the performances. Mm -hmm. Jack, we'll start with you, but not your performance, because sure. even though it was amazing, we're not going to start with yours. <laughs> sure. Man, um, it was so much. I think for me, one of the highlights was seeing uh, Jamie Foxx. Mm -hmm. up there, you know, just somebody you grew up watching on television, uh, one of my favorite movies, Ray, just seeing him up there and just doing what he does best, it was so inspirational to me, mm -hmm. um, and it just inspired me to just, man, like, if I just keep on, I could, I could make it to the same level uh, of Jamie, so yeah. that was something yes. amazing. What about you, Ryan, real quick? Uh, just watching George Wallace go off, <laughs> I don't even know if this is going to make the same. I don't think it's going to make it, but it was <laughs> hysterical. But three minutes and a standing ovation because he, didn't, he pulled no, no punches. Yes, good, good. Well, we're so happy. Uh, Ryan Cameron and Jack, thank you so much for being with it's us. Camry. Camry, yes. <laughs> no, it's not. We're going to turn the beautiful sounds of this man right here, Jack Ross. He's going to be performing for us next, so stay with us. Thank you, Ryan Ryan. Yo, yo.